Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for November 9th, 2021. Let's see what we have going on for today. If you'd like to get a personal reading with me or an Akashic Records reading, just go to angelsouls444.com. Archangel Meditation Challenges and much, much more <laughs> over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. All right, there it is. Okay. Two of Raphael. We've been getting a lot of like love and healing kind of things going on. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits. Don't give up on those you love. You know what it is? This is slicing away. You're, you, we feel like, we feel, <laughs> what I'm feeling from the team that's coming through here is that we surround ourselves with toxicity because that is the common narrative, right? That's the thing that we're supposed to accept. That's supposed to be normal. And I feel like we're not accepting that anymore. And when we don't accept that, everything breaks open. So don't, you know, if you walk away from a toxic situation, don't sweat it because <laughs> good things are coming in. Now, this for some of you, I feel like this might be like a best friend or someone you thought was a close friend, but you realize you can't trust them. And so you let them go and then it opens up the energy. I want to give this example. Um, I, you guys must know by now, I had a very, very bad pattern. This is just what I knew of allowing very toxic people into my world, narcissists and sociopaths. And I had one uh, who was a friend of mine years ago. And we went off. Well, actually, I had, I had a couple of friends who were like that. Because again, that was just normal to me. So I allowed them in. And I went on these overseas trips with each of these people and they made it a nightmare a nightmare I mean it was like it was abusive and I do not use that word lightly okay it was abusive and I could not wait to get out of there it just spoiled the trip and then I had this one I had a corporate job I wanted to go off to Hawaii and suddenly everybody wanted to go with me nobody was bothered when I was having like a rough time or wanted some advice. So if we're not talking about them, they didn't really care. But now I'm going to Hawaii. I was going to Maui and now all of a sudden they want to invite themselves. And I said, no, <laughs> I said, no. And I went by myself. Now, did it get awkward around dinner time? Everybody having their romantic dinners and I'm just by myself. Yes. I made friends with all the bartenders, but the cool thing was, is when I, when I would travel with those two, nobody ever wanted to have anything to do with us. And it was really hard to meet new people. Not only did they not want to come around, but if someone did happen to come in, that other friend would kind of shoo them away or scare them away. When I went to Hawaii by myself, I met the most incredible people, had the best time, except for around dinner time. Shout out to the hotel staff that... <laughs> the place I stayed at because they kept me company because <laughs> I told them, I was like, I thought this was a good idea, but I guess going to like a honeymoon island is weird. <laughs> There's a guy named Josh. He goes, I'm, I'm here. Just come and hang out. Like, that's fine. Uh, so they were really cute, but that's that kind of energy. Like you might really realize that you are in fact better off by disconnecting from even a group of people. Okay. Or if you finally get out of that toxic work environment, you suddenly find that everyone wants to hire you for something. You know, it's that kind of feeling. So give that some consideration today. See where you can clean things up a little bit and open up your life. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.